Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. The time I'm writing the script, it's already Wednesday evening and I still don't know what I should show you this week. It's all pretty chaotic in my head and I'm working on different projects. The biggest project is moving the spider room to the attic. It's a big mess out there and I still need a lot of work to make it ready for the spiders, but eventually I will have more space and also more storage space for all the stuff. Because, uh, yeah, that's a big problem at the moment. The second project I'm working on are jumping spiders and making jumping spider decoration and enclosures. I'm still planning this out and it's also the reason I still have nothing done for this video. So what do I have for you? I have to separate the leaf insects, I have some molds and one of them needs a rehouse. And I have a new mature male who made a sperm web and is ready for some action. I'm going to start with the leaf insects. I have two enclosures, one has the babies and the other one is full of bigger and mature ones. Now I also have this big mesh enclosure and I'm going to put all the mature ones in here so they all have plenty of room to wiggle in. Here you can see all the smaller leaves. I just gave them fresh bramble and gave it all a good mist. I mist them once every day, they love to drink from the droplets and I have less deaths with the babies. And here are the mature and semi-mature ones. There are way too many in here and that's also why I separated them. I refresh their bramble every 3 days and take out their poopies. Dirty insects produce a lot of poopies in 3 days. There are still a lot of leaves in the enclosure, but some of them are one mold away from being mature and then they will go into the mesh one. And here are the mature ones. Unfortunately, one of the males had a really bad molt and I'm not sure if he's going to make it, but he is eating and drinking and trying his best. Last week we had some molts. The first one was from the small Pterinochilus murinus kigoma. It turns out to be a male, which are always welcome. Then we have this tiny Eresus Valkenari. The camera couldn't focus, so I took out the frizzly thingies. A macro lens would be very cool in this case. And the last mold is from the Schilobrachis Sarabori. I also gave it a rehouse because, uh, yeah, you know, Schilobrachis and their crazy legs. I also got a new mature male, Trichmopeus Trichelentus, and he quickly made his perm up, so I tried a smexy time. After putting him in, he sat way too close to the female. I didn't really trust it, so I had my tongues between them. But he wasn't moving and after waiting for 15 minutes, I took him back out.
I tried them with another female, but again, with the same result. Both were not moving. Maybe it wasn't the right hour, or environment, or he was just not in the mood yet. So I put him back on the shelves, and we will try again, maybe in a few weeks. I didn't want to end this video with a failed breeding, so I tried feeding some of the tarantulas, which also ended in a failure. Let's start with a success. This little Augustifalus Byzantami girl was in the mood for some food. Then I tried the Brachypelma Bomi. She normally eats very well, but not today. Looking at her abdomen, she will probably stop eating for a few months. Last year she stopped for 6 months, so it's not uncommon for them to do that. And then the last tarantula for today is the Chromatopalma cyanopubescens. At first she acted very interested in the movement, but uh, nah. So that will be all for this week. Not sure what I'm going to give you next week, but we will see. Arne has the stomach flu, so maybe I will just spend my time on the toilet. If you like this kind of content, then maybe consider subscribing to the channel and give this video a like. Thanks for watching and I see you again next week. Toodles!